Hello everyone, this is me, Ibrahim Abdesalam. In this video, I will talk about user-defined function in CMS logo. Uh, sometimes uh, we need to do the same program more than one time instead of writing it or wiring uh, or draw the other diagram or function look more than one time. No, we do it once and select it and define as a user-defined function. And anytime you need to do the same pro program, uh, you just drag and drop the function you had done. Exercise 2 a three phase induction motor with external fan on a power supply independent of the motor supply. The system operates as following once the start signal received, both of the motor and fan operate. Once the stop signal received, the motor will immediately stop and the fan uh, run. Uh, uh, and the fan turn it off after 10 seconds. Write the PLC program and, and that perform this task and use the user defined function to control five different motors. Let's do this program. We'll have two inputs and two outputs output one and output two. We need a latching relay and off delay timer. Timer, we choose one of play and finally we need a latching grid. Just uh, we need wire our circuit set set okay. and this is our timer. So I will simulate it as the switch as a moment push button and I will simulate this button also instead of switch moment push button double click here the so on delay is uh, 10 seconds and we need to zoom now we need to create our uh, block so just select everything except the input and outputs like that and right click and Select create a user defined block. This window will appear. Here is the program we have done, and here is the input side and here is the output side. We can move the inputs up and down as we like. Same thing for outputs, so based on your arrangement or on your group. Right click, edit user defined param uh, parameters and properties. Sorry. So I1 will be start. I2 stop we can and Q1 is our motor and Q2 fan okay. we need to add some parameters which use uh, off delay we can call it fan delay fan delay and now by this way the user can select the off delay time of each block we need to save our work save choose a suitable place logo so I will call it start start stop Motor. Okay. okay, I choose the suitable name and close. We now we will add our uh, user defined block. Go to user defined, configure user defined, add a user defined. Go to your browse for it. Logo starts to fan. Okay, this is the one we have. I have drag and drop it. As you can see, if we zoom, so start, stop, and motor and fan. So we'll have start, stop, and motor and fan. This is the block we have. So and it writes fan delay 10 seconds. Okay, so if we have 10 fans, 
or five time just copy and paste second time third time fourth time and fifth model and then okay this one we can change the router we make the second motor fan for 15 20 seconds and this motor the fan delay will be five seconds and so on let's see this program and see how it works okay i start motor one uh, and fan one are on i stop no problem the counter start count you can see here This motor can modify the of, of delay A after 5 seconds, so we start, stop, just 5 seconds and will be off. Unfortunately, we didn't display the remain time, so we need to update our user define, open your user define, right click, edit user define, define properties, from parameters, double click, so we can add the current time. So we can display the current time. We go to our previous. We have to save. Okay. Once we save, you found uh, it was green. It now converted to red. Now we need to update user define. This one is updated, and I will update this one. I'll make the off delay here 5 seconds and the off delay here 10 seconds as before. We go to simulation. I start first motor, first motor and first fan are on. Second motor, second motor and fan are on. I turn off first motor, turn off second motor. You can see here the counter start count. There is the remain time to turn off this one 5 seconds and this one is 10 seconds. Okay. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.